Hello, good morning. We are back. I promised you and I promised you. I promised you that we'll be back with the discussion of the day. And I told you that today we are going to discuss about the future girl, the future girl. We know what girls are now. We know what girls or ladies have been in the past. And now we want to look, we want to do what is called deduction. Like see, if it was so that time and if it's this way like the way it is today how is it going to be in future and we are going to look it holistically so that we will see what the girl will be maybe economically politi politically socially religiously and wholesomely so that we can see in the future like 50 years or 80 years to come what are we going to have of this gender that we cannot do without my name is Sankara Kaisu and this is white for at this particular uh, show is why in the morning the segment is WCW and I am not alone in studio I am with beautiful lawyers how are you girls you're fine you're good yes. yeah it's not your first time here yeah we, I had a problem uh, differentiating between Chalo and Kialo. And what did you tell me? It's Chalo. It's Chalo. Yes. Yeah, now tell us everything that you want us to know about you. I am Yvonne Chalo, a law student at the University of Nairobi. Mm -hmm. I'll keep it at that for now. Uh, do, you, do you don't want us to know your social media handles? My, I only have Instagram and it's at Mbenya. Uh, uh, at Ndenya. Yes. Oh, so your other name is Ndenya. Yes. Do you love that name? Yes, I do. Uh, that's my favorite Kamba female name. Wow. Ndenya. It means a totally different thing in Kijeluo. I'll tell you when I come back. Or maybe she will tell you. You know how you can Ndenya something? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now tell us about yourself. Uh, my name is Lea Ataro. I'm a second year student at Nairobi University. And I'm also in Instagram alone, and my handle is at, at Ataro. What is your beef with Facebook and Twitter? Uh, we, we left them for you people. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes, I'm sorry. Yes, I'm sorry. Where are you only 20 years? too. Oh, what's your beef with it? She doesn't know na na Zuckerberg. She bad on her own Instagram. Oh. She mm -hmm. nam support her photo. Oh. Yeah. And you can bear me witness that if these are the faces you are going to have in court, then the future is bright with law. Like people are going to commit crime so that we are turning nice, beautiful faces. <laughs> like lawyers are becoming pretty. I don't know whether I'm the only one seeing, but we expect to see these faces loved up uh, beauty what or maybe presentation where your faces need to be exposed more now because you girls are beautiful thank you thank you oh call it beauty with brains beauty with brains yes or is it just not just beauty yes because most beauty like people believe that socialites are just beautiful but they are not as brainy so people believe that those who are very beautiful like it's inverse if you are so beautiful then maybe you don't have my brains, but now it's opposite now. Like you are getting both. Yes. I, I think it's being given. Now think of the 2050 woman. Give, oh, the 2050 woman is going to be beautiful. Even more better. And having, and, and being more brainy. Yes. Uh, okay. And uh, I think you guys should make it like possible or easy to not only, I'm already seeing that you are so much hiding, you don't want people to meet you, and maybe unless till we get to court, because what can explain that apart from the fact that you are hiding from Facebook, you are only in Instagram? Uh, it should <coughs> be as survival as possible, but. We are only in Instagram, because you know Twitter is harsh. Oh, harsh. Twitter is too harsh. And then Facebook, we left for you guys. <laughs> Who do you mean, you guys? Who we are left, we? We left for your generation. <laughs> <laughs> it's not for the Gen Z. <laughs> it doesn't belong to the future. Yes. yes okay. Good. Okay, now let's get to the topic of today. That is um, the future girl. I, I wanted us to maybe start it from maybe the past girl so that we can project and see what the future girl is. My grandmom told me how she was married. Yeah, she 
jobs. Like somebody was paying dowry pole pole. Again, uh, she didn't go to school at all. So she, as she was just growing up in that homestead, grass-thatched house, uh, homestead uh, fenced with a wood, with some wood, and uh, one day she was going to the, fetch some water at a nearby well. Some people just came and she was using a pot, a pot made of clay. So some people came, just took the pot out of her head, then wakavunja your pot, and then mtu wakamweka tu kwa shingo, wakambeba, and that's how my grandfather got her, and that's how she was married, and that's how we were born, and that is now the past. There are several past maybe even in how they use, you have heard that from my story that she didn't go to school. Yeah. Yeah, but her brothers, walienda kidogo kidogo, see sana, but at least they went. So the future of a lady is very dark. Eh? Yeah. Uh, the past. The past, yes. I want your comment about this. Uh, what is your comment about the past of a woman, starting with you, Yvonne? Uh, I, I see the past of a woman being more dark and walikuwa na umizwa sana. Hawendi shule, unabebo atu, you don't get to choose who you marry, mm. you're forcefully circumcised. Mm. Even communities like the Kamba, mm. uh, the sister to my grandmother was circumcised. Mm. It's not so, not, not so long ago. Not so long ago. Yeah, yeah. So many communities are practicing the same against women. Mm. And yeah, that, that to me is dark and evil. Oh, yeah. and you thank God for maybe the present now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 have you had uh, any stories about how women used to live in the past? Yes. Um, as both of you have said, there was, there was first marriage. And you know, in the past, women were not as exposed as they are now. And to them, that was right. That was okay. They knew that was what is meant to be done. And if it's not done to them, maybe they'd feel even ashamed. If, if you see other people, you're, you're maybe you're, all of you are 12 years old, and you see other your, your age mates are getting married at 12 years old, and you're not, not yet married, you, I think they felt left out. And they also wanted to be married at that time because the community made, made them feel like forced marriage or early marriage or circumc circumcision was what what is right to be done at that time mm. but now we we are so much exposed and that is wrong wasn't there somebody to fight for them in that past like what if their lawyers maybe human rights activists do did we lack enough of them maybe to but the person? norm was the norm was that they are supposed to be treated like that Oh, that it was, was the normal norm. then. Yeah. Uh -huh. Actually, talking about it will make you seem odd or weird, mm -hmm. or you don't want to be part of them. And if you've read about circumcision stories and it came to girls, they will feel like I am more of a woman while circumcised mm -hmm. than while I'm not circumcised. So their inmates will laugh at them and all that. I read The River Between by Ngugi Wathiong of a girl who sneaked out of their home. The father was very religious. Like now that is the advent of uh, missionaries coming to Kenya. I know there were, there were two girls in that house. And one of them sneaked when the father was really against circumcision and she went and she got circumcised. The community was clapping and all that, but unfortunately she succumbed to too much bleeding and all that. And. Uh, it's like uh, there were controversies. Now that story of about 60s or 50s or so. So it's like it's women themselves who felt that they should be treated that way, like it was in their mind that they should be circumcised, they should be beaten. We were discussing with my co-host uh, here, Faith, who was telling me that um, even now, in some parts of Luya and Luo and maybe other communities, there are women who feel that they should be beaten. If they are not beaten, then they are not women enough. Have you heard about that? Yeah, I have actually heard of that. And you find that in the past times, uh, when a woman would complain that the husband is beating them or they will just keep on staying there and the mother to the women will be like, that is marriage, yes. stay there. Yeah, it's normal. That is how you are made straight. That is how even though na lainishwa. Yeah. So ili kwa kwa brain yao. They feel so, like they need to be tamed. Yes. Exactly. Like, 
you know in the past women were treated as children mm. you are also a child you are a child to your husband so you need to be tamed by your husband did that make it so difficult to help them to help women yeah to help women who maybe were being whose rights were being violated that harshly it was really hard because their mindset had already been set that this is how we are supposed to live now mm. to remove that that's from a woman that mm. okay you know this is not how you're supposed to live that's that's a real task so it's like they normalized their suffering their yeah. suffering yeah, became exactly. very normal it's normal and to them it's suffer. not even suffering yeah. that's how life lies oh yes Eesh. i don't know who inflicted this in their brains or maybe traditions or maybe culture and all that it's basically traditional beliefs Oh. Yes. That uh, a woman is a child. Oh, that a woman is a child. Maybe gods and uh, maybe culture and uh, do you believe that you are a child? Do you believe that you know you are so empowered because you are learning law, you knowing so many things. Do you believe that uh, a man is superior to you? We are all equal. We all have the same number of eyes, same number of legs. So why should you be superior? Why should you think that you're superior? Are you feminist? <laughs> you could call me that when it comes to comparing the male and the female do you believe so also le i'm i'm not a feminist but i believe we are equal oh you believe you are not a feminist I'm but not you a believe feminist. i feel like feminists are too toxic they go too much uh, we have feminism and then we have the toxic feminism all feminists are toxic I you don't, you don't <laughs> want to look at both sides of the story you only look at so yours. So what you're trying to say is that you are inferior compared to no, women. No, no, we are all equal. Uh -huh. But you know what feminists try to do? They make women to be at a higher level than men. But we are trying to do, what you're trying to do is we are trying to put all of us at an equal place. But what feminists do? They only look at on their side of the story. They don't look on the other side of the story. I That's love it toxic this way. Feminism. I could leave you for a whole hour <laughs> debating of whether feminism is good or bad because I'm enjoying it. You belong to the same gender and you have different opinion and that is very acceptable. Call well, that empowerment. Yeah, 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 that is empowerment. So that it doesn't have to be a debate between male and female on who is wrong and who is right. You can debate on your own as females and maybe tame down the toxic feminism it's at all it's there so that people like us see it like it's good to be feminist it's not that True. bad to be feminist True. yes if there's toxic feminism and so that maybe she will also accept that fem feminism is not bad it's maybe just fighting for their rights Sylvia. yes yeah 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 now let's get to the present now do you think Leia, that the current woman is empowered and liberated enough can you describe what a, a, a current girl is now um the current girl the present day the, girl yes. the present day girl yes um she's not yet there but she's she's on her way to get where we want her to be where is she now according to you um she is on her way uh, the current girl you know our the rights from the past have evolved this technology right now you know you you can access your rights so easily and we are taught rights and this education access to education is readily available to all and in school we are taught about our rights so you know about your rights so we are we are, we are not yet there but we are almost getting there mm. yes uh, where is ushago i want to use that for example uh, my ushago is in karachuonyo kindube oh you come from kindube yes. do you think now the typical lady at the heart of Karachuonyo, who has uh, never come to Nairobi, is so different from the girl in in 1980. Not as much. That's why I'm saying we are getting there. In those remote areas, there's not much difference as from the past and now. Okay. Yes. Even where are we? As a girl, as as uh, the, the contemporary lady. I believe that now everyone is aware of what is wrong and right. Like not everything is normalized right now. Like we already know when you beat me, umeni chapa, you even if you buy. Did you say everyone knows? Majority I don't know. Think so. Okay. Uh let's talk of radio. Hmm. Let me ask uh Ataro like the the radio station that is in your in in Luoland. 
Ramogi. Ramogi. Yes. Now, if there's a story that's, that's being aired in mm. Ramogi, mm. that that woman going to buy milk from the shop will definitely hear it. Mm. Maybe go and tell the other one, mm. eh, this is not supposed to be happening. Mm. That is how I believe that information is getting to them pole pole. Mm. Because nowadays, I can agree with you, because nowadays I hear less of the marriage. How I told you how my grandmother was married. Mm. It's getting less and less. Sayi watu wanaweza katiana. Sayi ukipeleka mtoto wako leo mapema unapeleka kwa chief. Yes. But to your surprise, it's still on the rise. It's still 38% in Africa. Like 38% of marriages are child marriages and forced marriages. There are communities who are still really practicing it. And I don't know what we shall do. Maybe you shall advise us legal minds on what we can do to maybe bring this to zero, zero, first marriages. Tunanza hapo mashinani with the local chief, the chief that gets to witness that. Like what, like what happens in mass economies nowadays? They already know it's wrong, so they are trying to tell the people that this is wrong na ukipatikana unashikwa and all that are there, are there back things or things used to happen in the past that still happen in Cumberland you represent them here now i don't really think so what wa mechanuka kabisa wana chanuka i wouldn't say wa mechanuka but those harmful aspects of the past are no longer there oh well, yeah, as I told news. you, yeah. the sister to my grandmother was circumcised. My grandmother was not circumcised. Oh, and your grandmother is older than her sister? No, the sister is, let me say, 70. My grandmother is like 60. Oh, yeah. so it's like the changes, as things changes were coming, maybe the change changed your grandmother. Yes. So that she didn't face the life. Yes. Okay, that's good news. Any backward thing that you think still happens in Nyanza, your motherland? I think uh, one 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 traditional act that sh that is uh, I, that is shouting to the local community that was against women was wife inheritance, mm -hmm. which is really rare. I have not heard of wife in inheritance in my place. In uh, recent past. yes, I've not heard about it. Also, according to you, ladies, things have really they are changed. fading away. Things have really changed, uh, like people are knowing their rights. Uh, life of a girl or of a lady is becoming better with yes. the day. Now this brings us to the topic of the day, the future girl. Oh, how do you see the future girl? We start with you, Yvonne. How do you see the future girl in the year? Uh, let's give it 2050. That's when you will be around 70. When do you think, how do you think the future girl will look like? The future girl will be more work than ever. She will not tolerate any disrespect coming to her. She will, she will be the, I wouldn't want to say head, but she will have a voice in the family more than she has right now. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Um, like getting it, like you are saying, maybe she will be disrespectful. Disrespecting her man. No, I have said she'll not tolerate any disrespect, any form of disrespect. What will she do if she's disrespected? She will. She will know that that is infringement of her rights, and she will know what to do. Ata do? <laughs> Ata enda kotini. Oh, <laughs> so you are studying law so that you'll be representing her. Exactly. <laughs> but you see, the judicial system right now has more. We can say has. More women. The women in the judicial system are on the rise. Like right now, our CJ is a woman. Yes. Yes. That is uh, very rare. I think in Africa, the whole Africa, has it happened? I think uh, there uh, there was one in Tokyo. So I think there are two in the whole of Africa. So unaskia unafakuskia baridi kuteleza utadu. Unafakuingi wana baridi. An example, kama classi yetu sasa ya lo. We have more ladies than the males. So it's like in future we are going to have so many female lawyers. Why are women getting into law so much? We want to empower our fellow women. Is that your main reason? Like, mm. let me be just a bit personal, um, Leah. Yeah. Why did you choose law? Um, I chose law because it's my passion. I, I like airing out my points and make uh, making another person get to see something from my point of view mm. so through that 
I can help fight, fight for the rights of people and bring justice to people. Okay. Yes. You wanted to fight something for... I know there's a, there's a lady from around where you come from. There's a pastor who died, who was my great friend. He was called Pastor Tom Mwombo. And then, after the death, uh, the family started harassing the family, his family, the lady, the widow, and the children. And uh, now the firstborn was a girl. Mm -hmm. And she said that I am going to learn karate so that I can teach these people a lesson. Was, do you have like such an experience? Did something happen to maybe somebody who prompted you to learn law? Yes. Okay. Um, my elder brother passed away when I was three years old and he passed away in Carnival. Carnival restaurant? Yeah, Carnival grounds. There was, a, there was an, an event there. And so my, my dad was, was really trying to get compensation for that. And you know, through that you need a lawyer. Mm. So I was seeing the way he was really struggling with that. He doesn't know who to approach, who not to approach. Mm. Yes, so I may told myself one day I'll be what my dad is looking for. Is your dad still alive? Yes. Is he proud that her daughter, yes. is, his daughter <laughs> is doing law? Yes. Oh, nice. Um, you, uh, Yvonne, um, about girls maybe wakichanuka sana wakaingia kwa law and all maybe other professions, is this what is defining the future girl now? Is it education that is defining the mama need? I believe it's education, because without education there's no empowerment at all. Mm. You wouldn't know your rights without getting into a classroom and uh, being told that there's something called the constitution, there's something called the gender and equality and all that. Mm. And I also believe the SDGs are also fighting for the woman, the standard development goals too. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Uh, there's something that still happens where I come from that I think will be addressed on future and I don't know whether it's only where I come from. Where I come from, men are given land, like boys are given land, but girls are not given in assumption that they are going to get married somewhere, so the land of the husband will be her land also. So they may get other inheritance, like they don't get equity inheritance in inheritance. One of things that people inherit are land. Uh, is it the same way in where you come from? Yes, yes. Or has that changed? Not yet, but it's supposed to change. Like me, me I'll ask for land because I know my rights. It's in the constitution that a woman should also get a, get succession from their parents. Exactly. You'll make your dad regret why he <laughs> took you to law school because it will complicate everything and maybe you will need equal share. Me, me I will get dough in my place. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I can imagine you having a home in your parental backyard and then another home where you'll be married, if at all you will be. Me. <laughs> we also discuss marriage, a future girl and marriage. Uh, is this problem also in Kambala? Yeah, it is. The land problem, it's, it's everywhere. Hmm. Like, Hakuna bomo utapata haina shida ya yo land, kugawana, yeah. nasikia the girl should not get this. Let's say that you were married to a family, to a family and you went to the, to the, to that family, like to the son, then the son of that family dies. And now they are going to split the land. Mm. And they say that you're not going to get the land because you're a woman and our son died. Oh. Now they even start blaming you for the death. Hey, hey, that's bad. That is that is actually happening. Right but you know, this is different story from what we are talking today. Mm -hmm. Like what you are talking now with Yvonne. Are you? Do you have brothers and sisters? I have a sister. You have a sister. Yes. You don't have a brother. No. You know, if that would be a, a thing in Lowland, then your family wouldn't get a land like your dad. If he's given land maybe by your grandfather, you don't get a land because he doesn't have a son who will inherit that land. Yeah, where I come from. Am I right, Atara? You're right. Yes. Is wow. that same problem there in Kambani? I've not heard of it. Okay, let me bring it another, maybe give it another angle. 
if you had brothers, say you have three brothers and you are two sisters, would you be given a land? Why like would you, your dad's land, a share of your dad's land? I believe I should be given, but now will I be given? Yes. I I don't really think, I don't think so. I'll be now part of the family that I went to get married to. Yes. That is how they put it. Do you think this is changing? Do you see this changing in the year, by the year 2050, we are, our, our year of uh, maybe comparison is 2050. Do you see this change in 2050? It's actually changing. Mm. It's, 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 it is going to change. It's, it's, changing already. it's yeah. 2021 and my mom inherited land from her father. Oh. Yes. Okay, then it's changing. Already. Yeah, it's changing. We are living in an age, in uh, one age where things are changing. I love that fact. Yeah. Because even me, I'll give my daughter's land. Wow. I will, yeah, I will give daughter's land and I will not discriminate. I will give them as much as I've given my sons. Yeah. That's nice. They will place. choose what to do with that land. Like you, you've chosen that you will build there. You will build, you will have your house in your parental background. Yes. I will leave my daughters to choose what they will do with that land. My, my director, Liz, is also saying that her mom was given land at her like, ancestral home. Yeah, and I think this is changing and this is nice. So it's like by the year 2050, we won't have this problem. It will be very automatic that if you have girls, you must give them equal land share as you are giving uh, the ladies. Yeah. And as you have said, they will choose to do what they want to do with that land. I have an example mm -hmm. uh, with my extended family. It's a family of, they like two boys and the rest are girls, like seven in a family. The girls were given their share of land and they chose to sell it. Yes. They went where they were married. Yes. Yeah, that is good. Because you don't, if I give you, you don't, I don't dictate you what to do it with it because it's entirely yours. What will you do with your land? If at all you'll be given, because I'm not sure you'll be given, I know where you come from. But uh, I wouldn't sell mine. I wouldn't want strangers. You know, in Luo, we, we, we live in our... We are communal. Yes. yes. Why would you bring strangers into your home? <laughs> 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 sell, sell them to your brothers. <laughs> oh, to oh. brothers. <laughs> so it depends on who they sell it to. Yeah, sell it to your brothers. Don't bring strangers to your home. But don't you think that you are now again bringing culture into this... Are you saying? But there, there, there are certain aspects of our culture that Absolutely. we wish to, to hold on to. Mm. Not every aspect of our culture is negative. There are some that we embrace, like You're living together. I totally agree culture. with her, yeah. That uh, moving maybe to the new age of rights should not entirely wipe our culture Let's out. Let's work of. with the positive aspects of our cultures. Oh, they are positive ones. Yeah. Yes. Like being communal. Yes. Oh, okay. So you don't want to bring strangers, you may bring oh. thieves and maybe they would be, they would, uh, be stabbed. Now, let's talk about dominance. Right now, even in the past there were male dominance. I think this is why even there were problems with sharing of resources. And now maybe, currently, it's still there. And uh, somebody, there's a writer who wrote a story and it was acted, the writer is called Marco Ferrari who said the future is female. Mm. Uh, I loved reading that story. And uh, the fact that uh, we are becoming the instinct, like we we, we becoming uh, extinct as men. Mm. So you ladies are going to be very men in the future, and maybe you are going to dominate just as men are dominating now. Do you think that is possible? I really don't know, but probably. There's a possibility to be a dominant one. Yeah, that you girls are going to dominate. Yeah, maybe there's after a possibility. You. Um, what do you mean by extinct? In, in numbers or... Yeah, in numbers. Men are becoming less and oh, less really? in numbers. Yes, men be are becoming less. We are endangered species. <laughs> I don't know what is going to happen in future in relating to this and in relation to girls' life. But if you are becoming extinct, we don't have a choice but to dominate. If it's really true, you're becoming extinct. <laughs> <laughs> you actually do that. What you don't know now, Yvonne, yes. is that you are the majority now, but you're choosing men, even in political seats. You're electing men. If now, uh, if I again say Warui, 
there is uh, my technician here called mm. Marui, and uh, you are the voters. You are going to elect me and leave my place. Sankara, leadership does not know between male and female. We can see what you bring to the table. What we should bring her manifestation, bring your mani oh, manifesto, bring both of them together. We will, mm. we will balance both. Why did Laboso win? Yes, she won. Why did Charity Ngilu win? Talk of the white gurus of this world. See? They were chosen. Leadership does not know between gender. We choose what we see. Mm. But you see now, Ndenya, Ndenya is at the future voter girl. Mm. So you think in the future, we're not going to vote because this is a, this is a man, this is a woman. We're uh, going no. to look at what, what the person is offering. But right now we can say it's still there. We'll vote for a man because there's a formed opinion that a man is, a better, than, that a man is better than a woman. There's still that formed opinion right now. So it's opinion that is set to end. Yeah, it's really. going to end. It's going to end. You've heard Ndenya. Mm. She's, she's one of the voters that, she's, that Atakwana vote in the future. I think she's voting now. Do you have, oh, do you have voter's card? Yes. <laughs> she says it and to say. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to talk about that. But yeah. <laughs> or maybe you're the future girl we are talking about here. Probably. Maybe I'm trying for MPA somewhere. Okay, you know why I was asking that layer? Is that I've had so many instances where ladies say, yo, me, I'm going to attend one man. Even in maternity, they want to be attended by a man. Even in all facets of where services are provided, they want to be attended by men because they believe men give better services or maybe women sometimes work on attitude, work on wenyewe kwa wenyewe. This is there. But do you th see this ending in future? Yeah. Or do, do you think it's there in the first place? Yeah, it's there. And what is happening is, as soon as you realize uh, that opinion, that formed opinion mm. is... I, I you miss you at Wengine, Nisisi, when it's coming back to us. Yes. You, you're choosing a man to lead you, and there's a woman that could have understood you better. Maybe and improve the maternity. Maybe if you choose a woman, I tell you what a woman needs for maternity. Yeah? Uh. I tell improve the facilities for maternity and stuff like that. But as soon as we, rea as we realize that choosing men over women, but still as Imati, whether the woman has better qualifications than the man, as if you choose the woman, uh, you, as soon as you realize uh, that it's helping us, it's us, it's helping, that will, it Aisha. The time is too much, running too much. I don't know where, it's getting very fast to 2050, where you want to get to. And that's why I think uh, the time is really uh, speeding. Uh, I want us to get very brief comments, very brief, like uh, five or ten seconds comment about marriage. Do you see future girl getting married in 2060? It's a choice, and you you have all the options. I feel like they will get married, or some will choose two, some will not choose. Oh, so we'll have a like very many bunch of ladies who have chosen not to be married. I'm personally not getting married. What do you mean, Lea? I'm not. Like you've chosen as early as now that you're not going to get married. See, I've told you I'm building a house in my place. Will you marry a man there? I'm not getting married. Will you stay with a man at, at your home? No. What will, will you need kids? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I have elder siblings. Nimelea ya kutosha. You've broken someone's heart. There's ah. a brayo in studio who, when you entered, the first thing he told me, Aki wewe unajua kuchusu wa geni wa kukamu kwa TV. That is the first thing he told me when, when you came in. Now he was optimistic that maybe after this I will take a number. Una mdiskare ya sichukwe jua, una future na izo. Acha tuwele tuwa jua ukweli na mapema. Okay. Okay. With the clothing and technology, somebody is saying in our social media handles that uh, women in the past used to cover themselves completely, like they used to wear decently. As we move, they are wearing less and less and less. It's becoming more revealing. So they are saying women in future will walk naked. Naked in 2020, women will walk naked. What do you think? Um, first of all, 
Well, we went really in the past. We are in Cleveland still. The uncle. Are you really sure about that's that? That's what is. That what she's saying, and she's she. That's what she's saying. I was once looking at photos of my grandmother, and believe you me, she was wearing very short things, and she still tells me up to date. Nikiwa mschana nilikuwa na vaskat pupita na sana. I think it's the mentality that people hold as Africans yes. that our right now woman should cover her. I believe it's my dress, my choice. But oh, I, you believe in my dress, my choice? Yeah, let me let me present myself as I want to, as who I am. What is that is tormenting some people, tormenting Brayos? That is one. their problem. Oh, not yours. Not mine. Shidayao. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it depends with, with what you believe in and what your principles are, no matter the year. Ikwe 2050, Ikwe 1900. Mm. It doesn't matter. It's you, what you believe in and what, what your principles are. Do you see the 20, because they will be so empowered, they will not touch them. There won't be things that were metole and go kwa stage at his lekwa fupi. Do you see Our, them walking naked now? Um, maybe some. See, there are people walking naked right it's now. now. Yeah, it's you to change your mentality towards that. But now in 2050, it will be like technology will be so high. You'll be like sitting in Africa but living in USA. You see the life there. If it's now happening now, you can imagine. You know, I've been... Uh, this technology came when I was, uh, I was already there. Mm. So I've seen how it has changed things. In a span of about 10 years, what was then 2010 and what is here now, very different. So can you imagine 30 years or 40 years from now or 50 years from now how things will be, how things shall have changed, how other communities shall have influenced the way we live now. But are people walking naked in the US where we see their technologies there? Are they walking naked? Mm -hmm. Very nice question. They are not walking naked. Mm -hmm. Yes. But Sankara, don't you believe that men have a, men have a have a part that they are going to do to ensure that that 2070 woman will look so and so, that 2050 woman will look so and so. Somebody is telling me, Liz, that uh, fashion rica, that something that True. happened maybe 10 years ago, is coming back now. And maybe how we dress now can come back in 20 years' time or so. So you see that things won't, in dressing, things won't be so much different, yeah. eh, according to you. And uh, about Kazi Zanyumbani na Kazi Mtani, uh, as we finish, as we really finish, mm -hmm. <coughs> girls are getting educated. Yes. Uh, I don't, do you see them doing the domestic work at home, maybe? I personally, may don't believe in that. Oh, so people will be sharing this yes. course. And you know, people, everybody is going to school now. Will we have maids to maybe do this course for us? Some people survive without maids, so why not help each other? Mm. So your opinion is that akuta kuwa na kazi ya dem home, itakuwa maybe kila mtu atakuwa nafanya. Itafte mkate, itafte maziwa. Hey, hey. <laughs> Life itakuwa aji. The way it should. <laughs> okay. Um, I think we should really kill it, finish. We start with you. Uh, look at this camera. And uh, talk to the future girl. No, they are being born now. They are... There are some who are maybe in class three, class four, but tell us, describe what you think future is going to be for a girl. Um, for the still small girls that are going to be now our future girls, I'd, I'd really like you to, to embrace that you're a woman first and know your rights, know you're not inferior. You're, we, we are all equal. You're not, you're not better than boys. We are equal, yes. Uh-huh. You know, they're not better than boys. That they're is not. important for them to know. Yes. Okay. Uh, Yvonne, uh, let me call you with your good name. Ndenya. Yes. Ndenya, tell, the, tell us about future girls here. I, the, to the future girl, to the class three-year-old girl, the eight-year-old girl right now, use your education. You have the chance. Everyone is watching for you. Just go, girl. Just hey. do that. I am praying that I reach the year 2050 or 2060, but then I will be around 80 years or so. So I will be vaccinated to look back 
and tell the people that I was there when the technology was coming and everything was sweet, I will be a very good gooker. But the future girl, uh, make your future now, maybe if you're watching this, and the girls of today make life better for the girl in the future. I think the girls are now better. The life is better now because some people worked towards that. There are people who have been fighting for the rights of the girls now and that is it's getting better now. I am happy because today I was with two lawyers who are studying law to make life better for now the future girl. This has been White 54 and this has been Y in the morning. This has been WCW to everybody, of everyone who made this possible. You, many, I can't count all of you from the people who are the TX, people who are technical, my producers, my directors. Thank you for making this. And for you who was there at home, who tuned in to make us like, don't talk alone, but talk to somebody. Salute. Till we meet again on a WCW, that is next Wednesday. Keep it locked. But I think we are coming back with Faith to say the ultimate by Keep it locked. Thank you guys for coming.